going everyone for today's video we will be installing a uh, nameless performance uh, well in this case uh, the mid pipe on a 2016 WRX now uh, we already have the nameless uh, muffler delete on there so um, this is my brother's car so he decided to buy the mid pipe now and here it is in all of its packaging comes with all the hardware uh, Here's the Y pipe version that goes towards the end to the uh, uh, axle back portion. And here's the mid pipe resonated. Uh, three inch to two and a half inch. So we're gonna install that on his car. I uh, hope it all goes well. There is one section I am a little worried about, but we will uh, see how this goes. All right, got the whole car lifted. Uh, here's the nameless uh, axle back or muffler delete with four inch tips. And uh, looking at some of the hardware, this is all the hardware you get in the kit. V-pan clamps, uh, these are all 14 and 12 millimeter bolts and nuts. So luckily I have a 14 and 12 millimeter wrench. That makes things easy. And then I'll just use my electric uh, uh, impact thing with the uh, 12 and 14 sockets now. I have no idea what in the hell this thing is. Um, absolutely no idea. Uh, I guess I will find out soon. Uh, I think I might look at the directions or the instructions online because I have no idea what this is for. So you might notice something a little different. Uh, I'm wearing safety glasses now. <laughs> Reason being is uh, I was taking the bolts off of the axle back and a piece of uh, metal or uh, dust uh, from the rust on the bolts or whatever flew into my eye. And for about five minutes I spent trying to wash it out and it just wouldn't come out of my eye. It hurt every time I blinked, every time I moved. Uh, it, was, it was way up there. Luckily my brother came home and we were on the way to this little local it's not a hospital but it's but it's not a like one of those clinics it's kind of an in-between it's like a smaller hospital I and on the way there it's just like it was gone I don't know how and it just stopped hurting it doesn't hurt when I blink anymore my eyes still red but my vision's not messed up so now I'm wearing glasses and <laughs> That's a little pro tip, wear your safety glasses. Okay, here's the two systems side by side. There's a stock one, nameless one. Um, it's a uh, three inch, then drops down to, uh, I believe it's two and a half or probably two inch. It looks more like two inch because I know the axle back is two inch. Uh, has a resonator in here. Should sound pretty good. And looking at these welds, I don't know if, I'm sure that's probably stock. It has to be. Yep, looks pretty good. So I apologize for not updating on the install because I've been just so fucking pissed and over it with this damn exhaust. Uh, finally, it's all on. The front half's tying, just gotta tie in the back half of it now and then we'll start it up. I don't know if you guys will be able to see under there, but all nice shiny piping. Uh, yeah, it was a bitch. Uh, that front half. Uh, I really had to muscle that thing to uh, get the V band over it and get it all connected. But now I'm just gonna, uh, like I said, tighten up the axle back. I'll tighten up the V band just a little bit more and then start it up, check for leaks.
right, so we just installed the nameless performance uh, mid pipe section. So now we have the full cap back. Uh, we, my brother first bought the muffler deletes. Um, bought that first. That made the biggest noticeable difference because obviously, you know, you're getting rid of those giant mufflers in the back. Uh, that muffler delete, axle back, whatever you want to call it, made the biggest difference. Now, installing this mid pipe, uh, it's not, you can't really tell, it's not really noticeable. Um, so far from the inside, giving it a little gas, uh, it sounds the same. Now, obviously, um, just a little before I compared the two, you know, the stock versus the nameless, and it's pretty much the same thing. It's the same straight through design. Now, yes, the nameless is three inch and it does have a resonator. Uh, however, the stock one is just a straight piece, so you're not really you're not really replacing much or changing anything drastic. Okay, uh, hear a little more turbo noise. I do like that. Hear a little more of that. Um, I don't know. It feels like it has a little more pep to it. I don't know, but uh, so far uh, no drone. There's no drone at all, and of course, with a boosted, you know, turboed or supercharged vehicle, you really want you really wouldn't see much uh, drone, anyways. Uh, but yeah, really. Uh, not too big of a difference, you know, going from the stock to the nameless uh, mid-pipe. It's kind of surprising. Um, I thought maybe with a 3-inch it'd be a little more, but it's really not. Uh, once I turn right on here, I'll be able to uh, stretch out the gears a little. Yes, this is an automatic, uh, just to point that out. Um, I know exhaust notes really don't change between automatic and manual, so it's the same motor. but. I thought I mentioned it. So on this uh, straightaway, when I turn right, we will see. I did rev it a little right before I left. Has a little more pop and a little more crackle to it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, with just a muffler delete, didn't really have too much of that. But on this straightaway, uh, I'm not gonna put it in sport mode. It's my brother's car. I'm just gonna romp it. I mean, from the last time, it seems a little more peppier. It could just be the placebo effect, my butt dyno. Uh, feels good. <laughs> uh, I'm sure it's probably a little louder. And, uh, but it is nice. You do hear more of the, of the turbo noise, which is what I really like. Uh, I'm sure my brother's gonna be really happy. I'll, uh, once I get it back to my house, I'll do a couple revs in my driveway. Well, actually, uh, we'll do some revs right now. So unfortunately, uh, it is pretty windy outside, but I hope uh, you guys are still able to hear some of those exhaust revs. And I just realized, uh, when you're at, you know, in park or whatever, it doesn't let you, it doesn't let you rev past uh, 35, uh, 4,000 RPM, so I thought that was kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, a couple wraps. Uh, I think my brother will be pretty happy. So I hope you guys liked that install video and a uh, quick little review. Now, uh, of course, we'll get this exhaust, you know, a couple thousand miles to, you know, really, you know, break in and build up some of that carbon and stuff and, uh, I'll do another exhaust video with some actual drive-bys and stuff, putting in the sport mode, actually, you know, revving it out. Uh, but until then, see you in the next one.